Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LitCode. In this video, we are going to learn about the destructuring assignment in JavaScript and trust me, it's going to be very simple. We have used this feature in our Playwright tutorial but there I forgot to mention about it or maybe I haven't uh, defined it properly. So in this video, I'm going to take that concept and I'm going to explain you. Okay, so let's get started now. So here we have a fruit software and the values are apple, mango, grape and a banana. So if I want to extract the extract one value from an array, of course, we know that we can do like const or let whatever you prefer. And I can say like uh, maybe like first equal to fruits of zero. That is my index, right? So the first one is zero array starts from the index zero. So this, this means like from the array, we have extracted only one and we have stored it in a variable called first. And then I can simply print my variable and I will get the appropriate value that is apple, right? Similarly, I can do for like fruits of one, two, three and the till the length of the array, right? That is fine. I hope this is already clear to you and you know the arrays and how to extract an array. Now let us understand how destructuring is going to help us. So instead of like getting one value and storing it in a variable and using the variable, we can do that directly. For example, I'm going to comment it out and here I'm going to say like left and within the square bracket, I'm going to say like first and then I'm going to assign the fruits to it. Okay, that means now what will happen in the sense directly instead of storing it like a variable and using the variable, I can store that within the square bracket, technically a destructuring way. And then I can print this in this like, like first, right? Now you might ask me here also we have the same thing here also we have the same thing only the difference is the square bracket then why i should use it makes sense but we have a lot of things here so here i can say like comma and i can give some second and i can give like third and i can give like my last one okay now i can use that whichever i want okay so for example i can say like third one so i will get only the first one that is apple and the third one which is grape here Okay, if you want to use the last, of course, you can use that and we'll get the banana. So this is how we can make use of the destructuring. What does it really mean? For example, here we know that we have four values and I have stored the four values within four variables in the format of destructuring. And I know that this is my source. So from the source, we have like four variables now within the array square bracket and I can use any of the variables directly so instead of like if i have to do the same with four variables i have to say like fruits of zero fruits of one fruits of two and so on right so instead of writing a lot of variables in different different lines or maybe like semicolon based on whatever you do just we can declare that within the square bracket and that's going to be act as a variable that simple it is now of course there are few more things as well for example i can again say like let and I can say like first, so I want, I'm expecting the first one. I don't want the second one, but I want the third one, right? Then what can I do? I can simply say like this. So comma, comma, and then I can assign the variables. And now I can use my first if I want to use it. I will just comment this as of now. Yeah, so since I'm using the same variables names, that is the problem there, okay? Now here you can select if I want to use the first one, I can use it. I don't want to use the second one. So I'm not going to assign a variable to that. And I'm going to use the last one maybe probably so I can use this one. Okay, this is also another way. And another way is using the spread operator. For example, let's say that I want to use only the first one. Let's name it like A. And I don't want to use any other, uh, any other data arrays value right i can do that so here i can say like console.log and a that is going to be fine but what if i don't want this but i want rest of them right so i can simply say like comma and i can use triple dot that is known as spread operator and this is this will be my rest of the array now i can print that so console.log and i can say like rest that should give me the array so here you can see like we are getting only the string for for this apple for this a that is the first value of the array and here we can say like we are getting square bracket that means of course it is the rest of the array so we have segregated the first one as a separate or a individual variable and the rest of the data into a another array okay i hope this makes sense and you are able to understand the real benefits of destructuring assignment 
we have already used this in our playwright video i will just add a snapshot here you can find that one okay okay now coming back to this uh object right so this we have a object which is combination of key and value this one the left hand side is a key and this one is a value the key should be in the format of string or a symbol right symbol in the sense like this is kind of uh, characters but of course you should not have like one or two or some at symbol or hashtag symbol that is not so symbol in the sense like the name like this like i can say like uh, f name like this one but without double quotes double quotes is also fine so you can use either the string or like if you declare within the double quotation double quotes and then it is a string or else you can declare it like this this is known as symbol we can call it like key okay so this is what key and this is value value can be string boolean float whatever it is any data type is supported right now if i have to get each and every key and value from a object how we usually do is like we can say like let my name equal to and i can say like my bio dot f name right so that's that is my like first name right and then i can use it like console.log my name so you'll get the value similarly i can do like my bio dot age dot gender and i can store that in a variable and i can print it right same way we are going to do here for the array like instead of index here we have to pass the key name and for the destructuring we are using something like this right so same thing here also but instead of square bracket we are going to use the curly braces now okay let's see how to do that so i'm going to comment this and here i'm going to say like the curly braces and i know that i will get my first name and i will get my age i'm not going to use the gender so i will just skip as of now okay and here i can say like my bio okay and then if i console log f name then you can see we are getting this like my name as kaushik and also i'm interested to, interested to use the age so here you can say like we are getting the age as 27 right so that's it very simple so it is same thing like the above but in array we use the square bracket for objects we are using this like your curly braces okay and of course if you want to use the gender of course you can uh, call the gender and probably you can use that as well it's up to you and just what i'm trying to say is basically whatever the values you want you can pick it up from there and you can consider that that you can consider those as a variable that's it very simple okay now what if like here i have fnum and here if i try to give the lnum will it work definitely it will not work because it works based on the key right so the key name should be exactly like what you are going to give so here i have f name but here i have declared it as like l name and when i try to print that of course i'm going to get undefined because l name is not there here right mm -hmm. so that is how the object works i mean the destructuring works and also we know that uh, this object can also can contain object inside it right for example here i'm going to say like full name and of course here we should add the comma yeah so this is my object with like this one right so we have like object key and value and where is the key contains another object this is also fine right most of the time when we uh, get the api responses we can see something like this right correct let's see how to get those with the help of destructuring so here i'm going to say like let and then the curly braces of course and here i'm going to say like uh, full name and then followed by my age and then followed by gender and then of course i'm getting it from my bio so i can declare that and here i'm going to console the log and here i'm going to say like full name and in this case i can say like i'm getting f name and l name right so it's giving me the whole but i want to get only the l name i'm not interested on the f name right so what can i do is here i can again say like colon and within the curly braces and i can again give the property name that is key that is l name and here you can see like it says full name is not defined because of course we are not going to use the full name anywhere we are going to use only the l name right so here i can give my l name and that should give me the exact value that i'm looking for correct so if you want to get the both of course you can again add like uh position doesn't really matter it works based on the key so after the l name also i can give my f name and then if i want to print it of course i can do it right so in this way we can do it 
so that's it it's very simple and one more concept i have to explain that is a uh, dynamic property name okay so for example let's say that we have a function num dot string okay so to string so basically what are the values we are going to get uh, we'll get we'll see in the format of string right so let's go and try to print this one so console dot log get random number and when we call the function that should technically return me this thing so i think this is the plugin issue i think yeah so here you can see like we are getting the value like one two nine five something something and if i try to call the function again it's going to give me the random number right so that is the use of math dot random so it will give the random number between zero and one and we are doing the multiplication so that we'll get a longer number okay yeah now let's say that whatever the uh, random number we are going to get we want to set that as a key correct can we do that of course we cannot do that in the object but thanks to uh, esx we can still do that okay so for example let me try to uh, make you more understand i'm going to cut it here and here i'm going to say like let nums equal to i'm going to call the function called get random number uh, sorry for the spell you can probably understand that okay and this guy let's try to print this one so nums and of course so you can see i'm getting something very uh call it again i'm getting something right now if i try to use this like nums here that will not work right so uh okay let me try to print it in another way i'm going to come on this and here i'm going to say console.log and i'm going to say like and here you can see like we still we are getting like nums right so here you can see the outputs the key name is nums but what we are expecting the key name should be like what is the value we are getting here correct how to do that is very simple you have to enclose that uh, okay what i'm trying to say is here i have num and i'm expecting this key to be this variable but that is not happening right so here you can see it's like nums only so if i enclose that within a square bracket now we can see like what are the value i'm getting here from the function it is returning me some value and i'm able to set that value as a key that is how we will use the uh, dynamic key okay so dynamic key concept or you can say like parameterized object as a key okay uh, how this is useful and when we use this in the sense recently i made a uh, chrome extension tutorial if you haven't watched it probably you might not know this one right so here we have a scenario where i have to get the uid4 kind of grid uh, so we'll get the grid and we have to set that as a key so here i have used the same concept here okay that means whenever i add it to do uh, i will get the to do name the item but i have to store it i have to store that in a chrome storage in the format of dynamic so that uh, the key will be different each time if the key is going to be very same in the sense uh, it will replace the value so when i keeps on adding to do's it will replace the existing one but i have to set the key as dynamic and that is how i can store new data every time so that is the reason here i'm getting the uid that is a grid number and based on the grid i am just storing the key as a dynamic okay i hope that makes sense to you and this is the concept of destructuring it's a really good concept i have referred from this free code camp uh, website i will leave the link in the description you can check it out there okay so that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i will try my best to reply back Tata, bye bye take care